Greetings, this is Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. Photoshop 3D rendering and ray tracing today. You have your model or extrusion or type, and what do you do with it? You have this pretty open GL rendering of your, your object um, using the video card, using just hardware rendering. And what is ray tracing? What am I going to do with ray tracing? Without getting into the complexity of what is ray tracing, there are plenty of sites that will define it for you. It's I can show you exactly where it is rather than start talking about what it is. There's this button here. You can see it's render or you can right click and there's ray trace render here. We probably need a big red button here that just says ray trace me, but I mean, you know, maybe we'll get to that. The other thing you might want to look at is the preferences. Preferences 3D and you'll see a whole bunch of things here. Under ray tracer there's a quality setting here. High quality threshold. The default is set to 5 which is it's pretty good, but it can take a long time depending on what's in your scene, what kind of materials you have. If you actually set this to four, it'll your quality will drop just a little bit, and then maybe a little bit of noise and some of those, you know, transparencies. And if you're using an, an image-based light, you can see that in some of the other videos. But four will terminate really quickly compared to five, six, seven, eight, and goodness, nine and ten. Those can take a really long time for. Photoshop to say I'm done ray tracing. I've reached a level which I think is a, a pretty high quality. And if you want to go even below that, you could go to one, and, and ray tracing will terminate very quickly. But you'll probably get a really noisy picture. And um, I think four is a pretty good setting for practicing. It's a, a good enough quality for, to get an idea, and it also terminates pretty quickly. Um, you can see here, I can just let it run, and um, maybe it'll even terminate before this video recording is over. And um, there it goes. You know, I don't have soft shadows. I don't have any really bright reflections on here or anything that's reflecting on the surface. And there you go. It's done. So that's the, with the setting four. And if I started adding more objects, it probably would take a little bit longer. But I just wanted to run that by you there, give you a little hint. There's also the 3D under the render menu here. And rendering is going to ray trace it. You know, it's kind of like doing a filter. You apply a filter on an object. You know, you're going to sharpen it or whatever. It's just not quite as fast as that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Enjoy.